So I became an attorney general by a very unusual path. I was not elected. Uh, I was appointed after our previous attorney general was impeached. And I was actually the prosecutor at the Senate trial for his impeachment. And so at that moment then, South Dakota had a complete void of authority for the attorney general. Uh, our election process was already, election cycle was already in process. And so uh, the governor asked me to fill the six months between the impeachment of the attorney general and the arrival of the new elected attorney general. How would you define the rule of law so that you can understand it? I think one of the most important things about being an American is that the rule of law applies to everybody equally. And that the what it, what it stands for is the idea that anybody can take a look at what the laws are and apply facts to them and have a very reasonable ability to figure out whether their activities are in conformity with the law. So we want to make sure that we know whether we're doing something right or something wrong. And the way to do that is to apply the same rule to everyone. And how can youth stay safe today on the internet with technology going on? It has to start with some personal responsibility, which I understand can be very difficult, uh, both for adults and for uh, youth. But it is, like almost anything else, something that in moderation is probably very valuable. Uh, there are wonderful things that the internet does. It provides community uh, in circumstances where you might not have a community in, say, your high school that uh, has, is having the same problems that you are or experiencing the same situations that you are. And the internet might be a place that you could find that community. But because of its anonymity, uh, it becomes extremely dangerous to uh, rely on the, those communities because you don't know for certain whether the person on the other end of the line is actually another high school sophomore or is a predator masking themselves as such. Uh, and anytime you're doing something to great excess, uh, you're going to run into trouble. So I think self-policing is a, a big thing. I am a little more certain than some of my colleagues that it's not really possible for the parents to do a great deal of policing uh, because by the time I can figure out how to put a password lock on my kids' uh, accounts, they've already figured out how to have ghost accounts uh, or to get around the password or to do something like that. They're much more technologically savvy than I am. And so no matter what tool I use, so it really has to arise from within, and that's obviously challenging because in the moment it feels like it's fun, uh, it's something you want to do, uh, the algorithms that the company set up, you know, so, so-called doom scrolling, all of that is designed to draw you in because the more minutes you spend on it, the more money they make. And so you are to them really not so much the consumer as the commodity. Thank you so much for this interview.